And Lake Havasu City traffic, uh, White Sears is taking the active for 3-2 and it's going to be a left downwind departure, Havasu. Excellent. As time goes on, I know less and less. <laughs> and you know more and more. Like, that's the idea, right? The idea is that you come up with these things on your own. Southfield? Yep. Alright. Take it away. Imagine instruments are in the green, airspeed is alive. Beautiful. Beautiful. Pro. We could stay over the runway. Take it away. That was like that was Jimmy. If if soft field take off, don't turn right. Don't turn right. Go way left. If soft field takeoffs had a poster, uh, like this soft field takeoff would be on the poster. Five eight zero six. Solid. Take the act of departing three two northeast. Solid work. Solid work. Good stuff, Jims. What's rattling like crazy in here? Rattling? Yeah. This? No. Call? Like Avasu City traffic, White Series turning uh, left uh, crosswind, Avasu. The doors are good. Yep. And Lake Havasu City traffic, White Sears turning uh, left downwind, and then we're going to depart uh, towards the west for Lake uh, Havasu City. Next. Golden traffic here to the 4116 with the Sydney Solo, about 50 miles to the north, coming in for runway 9, Golden uh, traffic. Student Solo, cross country. And where's the spot you said that way? Yeah, we're going to go towards that mound, basically. Cool. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Once we get to 55, gyms, slow flight. So square the heading bug when we get there, and then yeah. uh, slow flight, 55, that heading, and then 75. Solid. Good stuff. Lake Havasu, RV 24 Zerwiski is about 9 to the southeast. Cross the midfield for a left downwind for 3 2. Lake Havasu. How's the traffic? Aviator 17 taxiing to the active. How's the traffic? The water's looking good. Are you going to jump in? Is it cold? That'll be good. It'll be like 80 something degrees this afternoon. Yeah, the water isn't though. It would be refreshing, I bet. You can jump in. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take you up river. It's nice and even colder. <laughs> Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. You know what? On our way up, check this out. My airplane? Your airplane. Bringing the power back to about, I don't know, 60, 65%, 70%. I'm bringing the nose up, and let's get into some power on stalls and recover as we make our way up. All right? Sure. Bringing this up, 20 degrees of pitch. So you got no flaps. I no flaps. Just clean. I'm controlling the plane with rudder. See that? Yep. Tap dancing. Caution. And Underspeed. here comes the other speed, and we'll feel the shake. I'm in Caution. full control with the rudder. Underpaid. See that? Felt that? Folder traffic. Feel that? Yeah. Plane kind of breaks. Caution. And I lower the nose. Full control with the rudder. Plane's not getting away from me. Caution. Underpaid. 
About that? Yeah. And lower the nose. I'm not even Caution. doing power. I'm just recovering with that angle of attack. Make sense? Yep. That's the comfort I want you to get with the airplane. Easy. Right. Here comes the power back. Your airplane. My airplane. And take us go up to 55. What did you see right there? Power on cell, you could enter into as long as you know what goes into it, how it works, yeah. you could just do it. Uh, right? on the 45, you, so you have the twin order inside? If you are in full control of the airplane, you could do anything at any time. Right. Solid. It's all about the rudder on the power on. Polar traffic, can you view Trader 77 on the right, downwind for runway 9, and uh, the Cessna is entering the pattern to Sayre, Texas. Oh, that's a student pilot. I'm sorry about that, I think, um... um student pilotos. Zorski's over the field, about to turn left downwind for oh. three two. Lake Havasu. Yeah, what did you want to see first? What? What would you like to see first? Slow fight? Slow fight, yeah, yeah. And what did we say we'll do with the heading bug? Square up. Yeah. Take it away. Take it away, sir. In Greek, we, for take it away, in Greek, we say, Staraputa. That means take it away. What altitude, Jim? We established on a right crosswind runway zero nine over. Remember what we said about heading in slow flight? I know, I know. Cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. cool. Set up. I'm just saying in general, something for us to look at. Have the traffic, AV-017, holding short of runway 32. Have the traffic. And uh, traffic holding short, RV-4, we just passed the numbers. We're about ready to turn base. you got time to depart if you want to. Caution, under stage. Holding runway 32 for a uh, left downwind departure to the south. Have to. Jimmy, I'm so unbelievably proud of you right now. Where'd you pull this out of? I don't know. Amazing. Show me a climb to 6,000. Yeah, Lake Havasu, RV4 is with you. Solid, Jimmy. Mile final, 3 2, Lake Havasu. Caution, under stage. Traffic, give it a 17 is on the upwind, throwing 3-2, Jimmy, this is money. Caution, yeah. under When did you do more training on slow flight? I didn't tell you. <laughs> Look at that, Jims. Wow. I have no words. Caution, under stage. Right hand for runway nine. 
the downwind boulder traffic. Caution. Understeed. Phenomenal. Give me a left turn heading. Zero nine or zero. Caution. Understeed. Caution. Understeed. Caution. Understeed. Caution. Understeed. Caution, under speed. Jimmy, I'm very impressed. <coughs> Caution, under speed. Very impressed. Caution, under speed. Wow, 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 wow. Unbelievable. Caution, under speed. Give me a descent down to back to 55. Caution, under speed. Lake Avenue traffic is Maryland 702 Juliet Tango. We're about five miles to the west, and we'll be entering for a last downwind for runway 32, Lake Avenue. Jimmy, this is some of the best low flight I've seen from anyone in a while. Appreciate that. Really amazing, amazing slow flight, Jims. Please pull it out from wherever you pull this out every single time we do slow flight. <clears throat> what will you do with the power at 5,500 feet? Bring it back in. Excellent, solid. So we don't bleed off when we level off. Phenomenal. Great understanding. Caution, under speed. Jimmy, solid slow flight. Really amazing stuff. That, that was perfect. Don't ever do, just keep doing this. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Excellent. Jimmy, show us a power off stall. And again, heading control as much as you can as well. Whenever you're ready, we'll do a power off stall to a full recovery. Take it away. More? There it is. So how do we recover? Caution. Under So fa faster with the speed, faster with the power. So no, no, go back, take the power out. On the recovery on the next one, the moment you bring the nose down, full power. Okay. They come together, full power. Okay. All right. All right, show us another one. Excellent. Caution. Excellent. Solid. Under speed. Full power. Why are we waiting on the flaps 50? Caution. Under speed. Caution. Under speed. All right, let's bring the power back again. I want to see another power off stall to a go flaps 100. I want to see another power off stall to a full recovery. No freezing on the flaps 50. Full power, flaps 50. Caution, under speed. Excellent. Excellent. I would even say we could get away with less nose down. Okay. Because we saw way more ground than we typically should have. Right. Just bring that nose down, full power, get the plane climbing. Um, how do you feel about that? 
power off, so. I feel good. I feel fine. I, uh, I, my delay was because uh, we were talking the other day when we did the go around at Fullerton. Uh huh. And we were like, take it easy, don't jam it. And I had that. Oh, you mean with the, with the power as far as the timing? Yeah, 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 yeah. So don't jam it, but I'd say a, a little faster than That's five right. seconds, but also just begin that. Because all I was seeing was correction with pitch, bring the power along with the pitch. Got it. Yeah. Do I do another one? I was going to do a power on. Power on? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Remember, rudder's your friend on this one. Yep. All right, 20 degrees a pitch. Use your side vision yeah. to keep the plane straight. Caution, understage. Go more, pitch up more. 20, hold more, more, yoke back. More. Caution, understage. There it is, full power, lower the nose. Excellent, show that to me again. Bring the power back, make it clean. Pitch forward. I wasn't, oh, it wasn't clean? Add the back, you can do it cleaner. Like faster for pitch? Just cleaner, okay. just like that, more. Hold it up at 20, a little more than we were. Caution. Take it all the way Undefeated. up to 20. Good, hold it there. Caution. Undefeated. Good. Caution. Undefeated. Excellent. Good. How'd that feel? Good? Yeah. It all makes sense to you? Yeah. See how rudder's your friend? Yep. Excellent. Solid work. Whenever you're ready, Jims, uh, let's increase the altitude on the window there to 65, because we're already at 65. And whenever you're ready, we'll find a good outside visual reference to begin your steep turns on, and then you'll square the heading bug on it, and then we'll do steep turns. There's an airport down here. Yeah, Parker. Oh. Private? Oh, it's public. Really? I, want to see which I don't see it on there. This right here, this trip. I guess it is private. Yeah, see a little strip there right on the edge of the water. Yeah. Cool okay. airport. Uh, what do you want me to pick now? Just a point? Pick any outside visual reference that's easy to recognize and see. So is there anything around us that's... I mean... A mountain peak, something that stands out. Like directly below? No, or no, 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 in the distance. Okay. Uh, yeah, see. to begin and end your steep turn on. Let's maintain 65. All right, I got it. Uh, what did you pick? It could be the lake here. The uh, triple wavy, the white, the big white patch right there. Excellent. Well, I would say the lakes. You see that lake there, the where it goes up. Yeah. I'd say that stands out. Okay. Does that make sense when you're coming yeah. out of a turn? You can just see that big okay. lake. Okay. As opposed to that white thing. So we'll set it for. Excellent. Right here. Perfect. So this is where we'll begin and end our steep turn at. What speed do we do the steep turn at? 125. 120. 120. Excellent. Altitude. 65. Excellent. Bank. 45. Perfect. So we'll do one to the left, and then one to the right. Cool? Yep. Okay. And I'm not talking. Even though I know you love that when I talk. <laughs> so one thing I'll say about that, even though I said I won't talk, you started at 6680. Yeah. Is that setting you up for success for doing steep turns at 65? No. Does that make sense? Yeah. Steep turns are all about the setup. So here's where you need a lot of back pressure and reduction in power. There's a lot to look at. So here's what I want you to do. Don't roll out. Keep staying in this turn okay. until you smack 6,500 feet, 45 degrees of bank, and 120 knots. Put your hand on the throttle and keep it there. And don't exit this turn until we see a solid 6,500 feet, 45 degrees of bank, and 120 knots. So I'm on it with you a little bit here, a little more back pressure. You'll feel those Gs. It's a little uncomfortable, but those are the Gs. Now we'll kind of lead it, reduce it, 
now we're entering back into a nice little climb. Add power, see what's happening with our speed. It's a lot to look at. We'll get back up to 65. Excellent, add power. Excellent. And we'll stay in this turn until we're 65, 45 degrees of bank, and 120. Caution, under speed. There we go, we're climbing. Feel the D's? Yep. There we go. Caution, too much bank. under speed. There we go. Excellent. Caution, under speed. Caution. Saw the stall horn come on at 100? Yeah. So that shows you that we could stall at any speed. Caution. Under speed. Let's get back up to 65. Yeah. How do you feel? Steep turns could be a little nauseating, so if you ever feel like you just need a... Then... No, I've flown with Paul, so... <laughs> Steep turns are all about the setup. If you start at 65, you have a chance to stay there. If you start at 67, it's a little difficult. All right, let's go to 120. And if you want me to show you some, like I showed you the Clash Charlie the other day, if it's helpful, I'm happy to. No, we've done this. I, I, I should know better. Whatever you want, just let yeah. me know. I'm here for you. Blake, have two traffic. Experiment with that 42 Juliet Tango, upwind, runway 32. Have a safe. Beautiful. This would be a good time to start. Caution. Excessive bank. Let's reduce the bank. Alright, so let's get out of it. If it's not, if it's not fair, we'll get out of it. Let's go back to wings level. So what do you think happened there? I just dropped that too much altitude. So what could we have done to prevent that? Well, I, I kept pulling and pulling, but I was dropping faster than... than, uh, than so here, my airplane. Your airplane. All right. So check it out. I want you to stay, put your hand on the yoke with me, but just kind of feel yep, it with yep, me, yep, all right? Yep. So here we go. Let's back, go back up to 65. And I want you to kind of get an idea of the movements I make and when to keep it there, all right? Here we go. I don't really care about the speed and stuff. I just want you to see what maintaining altitude in a steep turn looks like. So as I enter into the turn, I don't immediately start picking the nose up because if it's too soon, I'll climb. Now, right around there, I start pulling back. And my eyes, you know what my eyes are looking at more than anything on this one? What? Take a guess which instrument my eyes are glued to more than anything. Obviously, I'm looking at everything. Exactly. Do you look at that? Exactly. So my goal with that, look at that. We're 45 degrees of bank, and my altitude is literally glued. I'm not letting it get away from me. I'm not letting it go up or down. You feel what I'm doing with the yoke? Yeah. My movements? Yeah. You see the bank? Yeah. Nice 45. I'm not letting the altitude get away from me. If it starts dropping, I pull back, but not too much. And I could do this all day. So the VSI is your best friend when it comes to steep turns. Feel that what I'm doing with the elk? Look yeah. at that. I'm literally telling the plane what to do, where to go, when to go. Not too much, not too little to maintain my 65. See the bank? Yeah. Exactly 45 degrees. Does this make sense to you? Yeah. So here's the thing. I'm going out to wings level right now. I want to show you something that you did and what not to do, and I think will be helpful for you on the next one. What many people do is they enter into the turn, check it out, they do this, and they start pulling back because they don't want to, but look what the VSI does if I pull back too soon, before I'm fully established in the turn. Now that's a crazy climb. 
So here's what we need to do, and I think this key will be a cementing thing for you in your head. Okay. So the trick when it comes to back pressure in turns to maintain altitude is yes, we need back pressure, otherwise we'll descend. But no, we don't want it too soon. So I want you to put your hand on the yoke and feel when I start pulling back. Okay. And an easy way to gauge is go into a turn with no back pressure and then start pulling back the moment the VSI starts dropping. Make sense? Let's do it together. So here's 66, we'll call it that, and I'm entering into a turn. I'm not pulling back, 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 and the VSI starts dropping. There it is, you see it? Yeah. Now I'm pulling back. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right around the 40 degrees. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. The moment it starts dropping, I pull back to counter it. But if I do that too soon, boom, I enter into a climb. Right. And you see how we can hold altitude all day long. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. Excellent. A little back pressure here. It got away from me just a touch. Perfect. There we are. And I release it. Yeah. Make sense what I'm saying? Yep. Excellent. You want to give it a shot? Yeah. Cool. Your airplane. My airplane. Your airplane. Yes, back pressure. Not too soon. Simple? Simple? Good. Have two traffic. So go wings level because I want you to do the whole thing. Now you're already in the turn, so it's a little easier. Forget a starting point. We're not doing steep turns. I just want you to practice that 45 degrees and maintain that altitude. The moment the VSI starts dropping, start countering it with back pressure. So now yeah, you see here where you started the turn in a climb? Start the turn with the VSI at zero. Set yourself up for success. There we go. Nice and level. Now enter into a nice 45 degree bank and don't pull back until the VSI starts dropping on you. Go ahead. Don't pull back until the VSI starts dropping on you. Don't pull back. Don't pull back. Good. Don't pull back. Let it drop. Good. Now. Good. Now keep it there. More back pressure? More. So we just need more back pressure than you're doing. All right. Let's go back to that. There's no point in continuing the turn if we miss the first part. Yep. So let's keep trying this a few times. How are you feeling? Okay. Hand on the throttle. Always. All right. Now. Entering into the turn, I would say a little slower. So go ahead and enter slower into the turn, and don't, let's go, actually go wings level. You see the VSI there? We don't want to start the turn in a climb or a descent. There we go. Level. See the VSI? Yeah. Excellent. Now slowly enter the, into the 45 degree. This is the speed. You see how, how we're entering into it? Yeah. Just like that. Good. Hold it level. Don't pull back. There it is. There it is. VSI starts driving, start pulling back. Excellent. Keep the turn coming to 45 degrees. And now adjust this right here, adjust that to keep the VSI at zero. We'll pull back more. Exactly. We'll hold it there. Felt that? Yep. Excellent. So we're not letting it get away from us. This is, we're in control of this right here. Excellent. There you are. We could do this all day long. Now we'll lead it a little forward pressure. There's 65. That's a steep turn, Jimmy. Make sense? So what are you realizing? The timing issue. It's a timing, right? It's the timing of the back pulling back, right? You want to give that another shot? Yeah, let me try to the right. Cool. Don't pull back until the v once the VSI starts dropping, counter that. Yeah, a little too much. See that? Because yeah, yeah. you're not countering it to climb, you're counting it, countering it to stay at zero. The VSI is your fan. If the VSI stays at zero, you won't you won't go up or down. All right. All right. So let's go wings level. All I want to train with you is getting into that turn and maintaining the altitude. All right. All right? So go wings level. Doesn't matter what heading. Forget the heading. We're not doing steep yeah, yeah. Excellent. Wings level. Good. Enter into a bank and keep the VSI at zero. A little forward pressure just a touch. See, we're climbing. Good. Keep the, keep the VSI at zero. Good. Excellent. Good. Good. Keep the VSI at zero. Excellent. Good. More back pressure. More, 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 more. Good. Excellent. 
Good. Now hold the bank there. That's 45 degrees. And now just adjust the pitch to keep the VSI at zero. Make sense? Yeah. That's your only job. Yeah. Keep the VSI at zero. Look at that. You could do that all day long. Little back pressure. A little more. More, 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 more. Excellent. Good. Don't let it get away from you. Excellent. Even less bank. We're at 50 degrees. You can do it all day long. Don't be afraid of this. You're in full control of this. Look at that, Jim. You held out to like a pro. Much better than losing 400 feet. That's true. What are you learning from this exercise? Yeah, no, just timing and when to do it. Timing, yeah. right? Yeah. What's the biggest key instrument here when it comes to maintaining your altitude? Yeah. The VSI, right? Is makes using sense? trim cheating or? No, you can use trim once you enter into it. It makes it a little easier. There's no such thing as cheating. We'll do whatever you need to do to keep the plane at the altitude, at the bank, whatever is easy for you. But the big thing I want to stress here is that if you enter into a steep turn, you pull back too soon, as many people do, because they learned, hey, I need back pressure, which is true. Right. Timing, 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 timing. Did we prove that? Right. You saw that? Yeah. Excellent. Jimmy, guess what? What's that? I see right flames on your right wingtip. Okay. So. You don't have to actually turn anything off, just verbally say what you would do. So, still in the power, right rudder. Okay, go ahead. Right rudder. Do the flight stuff, but don't turn switches off. So don't cut the mixture on the engine fire. Does that make sense? Right, right. Cool. So go ahead. Show me what you would do. All right. And? Left aileron. Excellent. More left aileron. More left aileron. More left aileron. And descent. Increase that airspeed, right? We need airflow to put the flames out. Right. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. It's a slip. Yeah. Right? Even more. Okay. Right rudder? Right rudder. Right. Left aileron, right? The flames are going away from us. Okay. Good, the flames are out. Okay. That simple, it's a slip. Okay. It's a nice, good slip. Now, Jimmy, I hate breaking it to you, but your engine's on fire. Okay. What would you do? Okay. Power back, make sure, boost pump off, fuel valve off. Um. Take your time, there's no rush here. I'd rather you take your time and get yeah. it right okay. than a rush. Yeah, so, okay, fuel valve off, boost pump off. Power all the way back, make sure all the way back, heat off. Excellent, so let's enter into an emergency yeah. descent. Okay, so, so we have, so you want me to simulate like with no power? Yeah, let's reduce the power. Excellent. And while you're doing this, putting the flames out, a little more gentle, we don't need too much, okay. and start nice turns. Excellent. You can start looking. Where am I going to land this thing, right? You can start looking and gauging, yep. right? Excellent. Where would you put the plane down? Uh, that runway. Perfect. Yeah. So that's where I want you to show me yep. eventually that you could get us to without power. So you don't have any more power. We're not right. trying to restart the engine. Right. All right? So we'll stay in the vicinity here. Yep. All right. Flames are out. Flames are so out. So what do we do now? So then I would ascend the get it to 88. I can't really hear you. Where's your volume? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. So I'd bleed off some airspeed, get to 88. I'd actually do this too if I wanted the assistance. Buy some time. So forget autopilot. Yeah. So you would do what? 88? Yeah. Okay. Bleeding some airspeed. Right. And we're flying towards our spot? Yep. Cool. And uh, what else? Just going to start circling it and trying to... Cool. You know. So you're already coming up with a plan in your head yep. which direction you're lying. You're lying that way? Uh... Runway. And what speed do we maintain? 88. All right. Takes a lot of attention to yep. maintain 88. Yep. Yeah, so I would land there. Cool. I'll do some circles, keep 88. All right, so all I want you to do is keep coming and land on that runway, and don't add power and go around until I tell you to. Okay. So I need to believe that you'll make it. All right? Yep. Do whatever you need to do. What would we do in the meanwhile now? We have some time. What are some things we well, could not we, we can't restart it. 7,700. 7, uh, I'd be on the unit column for this area, letting everybody in the area know. Um, Good. And I would hit the ELT. Excellent. Solid. Good. Show me that we will make it.
good stuff. What if the flames came back? Then I would begin to descend again. Put the plane down again, right? Yep. This time, literally facing towards the area of the runway or short final, so you could just kind of right. land even if the flames persist. Excellent. Keep it coming. Excellent. Good. 88. Don't waste your altitude. Altitude is life. Yeah. Excellent. Good. Good work, Jimmy. Good stuff. And just a heads up, we'll go down to about 500 feet AGL or so. I just okay. want to make sure that um, I'll see you making it. Okay. So keep it coming and literally plan to land. Yep. At this point, I'd probably anticipate a slip. Where you at? Uh, yeah, we have flaps, we have do whatever you need to do to show me that you'd make it. You could even go that way and then turn back in yep. to lose altitude. There's many things in the book that you could do. Yep. Excellent. We have a lot of altitude to lose. I would keep going there. We have a lot of altitude. Go, go straight. I want to show you how much altitude and energy we have. All right, turn right. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Good. I'll fly straight towards the runway. Good. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Excellent. Pull point, up. Point towards this island Pull over here. Up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. And pull up. You would make pull it. Pull up. Excellent. Full power. Pull up. Pull up. Flaps 50. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Jimmy? Yep. Pull up. Did that make sense? Yep. Good. Uh, just turn here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can turn around. Keep the flaps 50 in there. Yep. Not too steep. Not lower than us. Lower than us. Excellent. Good. Excellent. You don't want the stall oh, in the name right, of turning right, around. Right. Excellent. You got to keep that angle of attack under the critical. That's your number one priority at all times. Yep. Excellent. Good. Jimmy, how'd that feel? Feel good. Did it all make sense to you? Absolutely. Right? Yep. Simple. Now, we're lucky we had this here. Otherwise, the terrain here is a little rough. Yeah. I'd say in, in real life, I don't know, head towards the lake there and pull caps, uh, right? Yeah. In shallow waters or something. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. Phenomenal. Good stuff, James. Yep. Now that we're down low, right, let's pick a spot anywhere and we'll do some turns around a point. Okay. All right. Doesn't really matter where. Um, a flat area is helpful just to uh, keep our... There ain't none out here. Well, yeah, I know, right? Well, um, I mean, anything doesn't really matter. We could find something. Jimmy, that was great. Excellent work. What did we realize about Best Glide maintaining that 88? It takes some attention paying, right? It's easy to sort of not pay attention to that. Let's start heading back towards Havasu, and I'm sure we'll find something on the way. Uh, you want just like this island right here? Um, let's, I think on the way back to Havasu, there'll be something a little more out of the way. Actually, we're going to go right in the hangar uh, just off at your 10 o'clock. So. Jimmy? Yes, sir. I'm proud of you, man. Did I ever tell you that I'm proud of you? I don't think so. Never? <laughs> proud of you. Good stuff. Good work. So it turns around a point, Jimmy. What, what are we doing? What's the idea there? Um, the idea is having a point, just maintaining. Maintaining what around it? Up the same distance. Excellent. What do we call that in English? It begins with the letter R. You're talking about the rectangle? Uh, yeah, I would think when you R. Say that what does uh, maintaining an equal distance around something, what, what's that word? When you do donuts with a car, it eats up a given... Gotcha. Are you talking about rotation? Not rotation, a given... Radius. R radius. Excellent. Yeah. Right? So the goal with turns around a point is a constant radius with a changing ground speed. What do you think will cause our ground speed to change as we make our way around the point? Wind. 
phenomenal. Right. You see how the wind right now is coming from our left? Right. If you turned right, would our ground speed go up? Yeah. If you turned left, would our ground speed go up? Oh, no. Excellent. Does that make sense? Southwest. Phenomenal. Good. Um, you see that area down there? You see that little area? Yeah. I think we could find something over there. Uh, what else do we, will we do our, uh, turn, turns around a point? I don't know, 1200, 12, 13, let's see, 8. Yeah, so it's it's the altitude here is about 6, 7, 8. Yeah. Let's call it uh, 2,000. Okay. Maybe it's like 1,000. So 2,000 feet, so we have 1,000 feet to lose, 1,100 feet. And we'll find a point that we could reference the wingtip around. Excellent. You see the uh, you see the few white stuff there? Yep. How's that? Yeah. For any one of these, there's other white stuff. Let's do that little uh, the initial block right there, the three of them or whatever. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. No, but that's you want to find one singular point actually. Um, you see the last one there? Yeah. Let's do that. That's a single single thing. Or there's one over there, the white one off your... Uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. 11 o'clock. Yeah, just find one. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, cool. Yeah, that, that last one right cool. there. Cool, perfect, yep. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, this one you want to show me then? Or, yeah, you want me to show you? Yeah, sure. All right. My airplane? Your airplane. My airplane. What I want to do is I want it to be off your left, it's just a little easier. So if you want me to show you, we'll just use a different one right over here. I'm reducing power here because one one tenth on the speed is good. All right, we're coming down. You see this? What's this gray thing down here? Right here. Over oh, here. Yeah, right see there. that? Yeah. yeah, we'll use that. All right. Where's the wind coming from? Uh, quartering tailwind. Cool. So our ground speed will be relatively higher here. See that? Yep. All right. So here we go. All right. Starting to turn around it. So with a higher ground speed, you need a tighter bank. And with he uh, headwind or a lower ground speed, you need a shallower bank. So you see I'm shallowing the bank out yep. here yep. to maintain that same radius. Does the distance feel relatively equal? So you see the distance should feel relatively equal with more and less of a bank or distance from it. Yeah. I might even get a little closer to it. Shallow bank here, because you see how I'm shallowing it out yep. even more? Yep. Because if you go too steep, you'll end up closer to it on this side. Now look where the wind's coming from. I'm turning, so the wind's coming from behind us. My ground speed's going up. I'm turning steeper. I'll be uh, crossing midfield from the northeast. Now my ground speed at, at its highest. You see that? Yeah. So steep turn here. Look at that. Steep turn to stay right in the same area. Does that make sense? Yeah. So high ground speed, steep turn, steeper. Lower ground speed, shallower. See this right here? Yep. Shallow, and I'm staying right next to it because my ground speed is increasing here. Does that make sense to you? Yep. That's really all we're looking for. It's just that click in your head. Ground speed, uh, wind behind me, ground speed's higher, I need a steeper turn. Wind in front of me, ground speed lower, I need a shallower turn. So your airplane, hand on the throttle, and I want you to kind of get an idea, just connect the dots in your head. When my ground speed is higher, you'll see, you'll feel, you'll need a steeper turn intuitively in order to stay at the same distance from the, uh, from the point. Caution. Under so we're not looking for perfection. I just want you to introduce you to this so you get kind of an idea. Caution. Under speed. Do everything you need to do to try and maintain an equal distance from the point. And eventually I think it will click in your head. Under speed. When you need to go shallow, when you need to go steep, and how that connects and relates to the wind. Right. 
And if you can, whenever you're going shallow or whenever you're going steep, try and say it out loud so I can hear what you're doing. Okay. So this is more shallow? Excellent. You see how we're turning into the wind? Yep. Ground speed's coming down. Phenomenal. Low ground speed? Right. Shallow, shallow bank. Lines. Excellent. So... So we've got to go more steeper. Exactly, Under right? Speed. Our ground speed's coming up. Does that make sense? Yep. Excellent. Are the dots connecting? Yeah. Caution. Perfect. And we'll do more Under of these. Speed. But this is really the foundation of turns around a point. Right. It's just an understanding that to maintain a constant distance Caution. from something with a changing speed, I need my bank to vary. Right. And that's all we're doing. You're varying your bank Caution. to maintain the Under radius speed. constant. You got the gist? Yep. We'll keep doing this and making it prettier and prettier. I just want to make sure that you understand Caution. the idea. Yep. Simple? Yep. Awesome. How do you feel, Jimmy? Yep. Excellent. Let's divert to have a seat. Caution. Under speed. Caution. Under speed. Caution. Under speed. Divert to the airport or divert to... We're in Havasu still. So <laughs> the Havasu Airport. Okay. <laughs> divert to your backyard. Okay. Jimmy, yes, sir. solid work today, man. Havasu brings like a good... Vibe. It's like, where do you pull it out of in Havasu? It's right. like, what's going on? Right. Amazing. Good stuff. Thank Havasu traffic here, JT, your Echo. Clear the runway to Alpha 3. Taxi to the FBO. Coming into Havasu? I want you to stay high intentionally and show me a slip. Okay. All right. You ready to go boating? Yeah. What are we about ten miles north or ten miles to the south? Uh, just about southeast or west. Uh, southeast. Excellent. And Lake Havasu City traffic, uh, White Cirrus is uh, roughly ten miles. Uh, southeast of uh, runway 32, inbound full stop. That was your traffic. You know why I'm so unbelievably happy inside right now? Why? Because finally you started ballparking your distance oh, yeah. and not having to look up on four flight the exact distance from the airport. Because you always oh, say, yeah. how many miles are we? Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know, rough ballpark it. Yeah. And you just right now said, I'm about 10 miles. Yeah. And there's nothing here that's selling you 10 miles. Right. Really proud of you. Ballpark your distance. It doesn't have to be on the dot. You're letting people know approximately where you're at and what you're going to do. Excellent. Mike Weimus here, two miles northeast. I'll be crossing midfield at uh, 2,600, and followed by teardrop entry into left downwind runway 32, full stop, like I said. And Lake Havasu City traffic, uh, White Cirrus is about on a seven mile straight and final for 3-2, Lake Havasu. Excelentos. Don't descend below 2,000 feet until I tell you, yeah. okay? Quick out of three traffic, Skyline 5 Lima Sierra, midfield 2100. I'll be making right here drop entry into left downward runway 32, full stop, Lake Havasu. Lake Havasu traffic, Skyline 51 Bravo. We have maneuvering for a 45 entry for left traffic 32, Lake Havasu. Just say four mile final, 
3-2. And Lake Havasu City traffic wise, Sarah's on a four mile uh, straight in final for 3-2, Lake Havasu. What altitude will we not descend below until I tell you? 2,000. Excellent. Go ahead and just kind of slow it down. Do your thing. Just yeah. nothing under 2,000. Do your flaps. Do whatever you want to do. Nothing under 2,000. Two traffic, Skyland 5 1 Bravo, turning left downwind, 3 2, Lake Havasu. Let's go, flaps 100. Keep 2000 here for a little more. And I want the biggest thing I want you to pay attention to is less jerkiness on the slip. Smooth entry in, smooth entry out. Have two traffic. Power to idle. Two military care. Show me a forward slip. Twenty five miles. Smooth in, smooth out. Be set up for the uh, left base runway three two. Have two traffic. Less jerkiness. Smooth in, smooth out. Controlled. Beautiful. I should be able to sleep through this. A little more to the left. You see how we're right yep. in center line, so we control that with aileron. Excellent. We maintain our final approach course or our position our track with our hand while we posi while Wait, we Sarah's on the short final for 3-2 Lake Havasu. Excellent. Good. Phenomenal. More right rudder. That's all of it. All the way in. 500. Excellent. Excellent. Good. More left tail line. We're a little right of right. center line. Right. Good. Excellent. When you take it out, smooth and controlled. Right. Smooth and controlled. Slips are easy. Excellent. Jimmy, go around. Good. Take your time. Uh-uh, uh, no, no, no. Flaps at 50 only after we applied full power. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, White Sarah's is going around. Like I was here. So let me say your turn. Starting my right turn into left downwind runway. Full three, power. Two, we'll flaps 50. Down. Excellent. Take it away. Flaps zero. Have the traffic. Galleon 5 one Bravo, uh, left downwind, 3-2. That's why we practice go-arounds, to catch those things. Save the numbers. Guess where I want you to touch down on this one? <laughs> numbers. Take it away. Half traffic, Galleon 5 one Bravo, left base, 3-2, half two. How's your traffic, uh, White Series, left crosswind, have a seat. Hand on the throttle, Jimmy. Sorry. And there's traffic. Yep. You see him? Nope. So. And Lake Havasu City traffic, white series, and train a left downwind for 3 2 Lake Havasu, and we're looking for the traffic. Florida Southern Sky 5, top over 5,000, 10 miles to the east. If I'm on the R nav, will we uh, go in the next and not land it? Huh. There's one there. Have two traffic, grade 32, military king. Oh, there's one here behind us. 15 miles to the west over the uh, terrain at 4,000. We'll look to enter uh, left base to 32. Have two traffic. Have two traffic, Scotty and 5 Bravo, turning five to 32. We have a Scott. You got him? Yep. Cool. All right, so we'll follow them. We'll be number two. And then uh, touch down on the numbers, James. We got a few traffic. Skyline 5 to limit here. Left downwind, midfield. Uh, full stop runway 3-2, Lake Havasu. Okay, Lake Havasu City traffic, white series, uh, beam the numbers. Uh, downwind, we have the landing traffic in sight, and we'll follow him for 3-2, Lake Havasu. Lake Havasu traffic, Skyline 5, Lake Havasu is going to do right 360 for spacing, Lake Havasu. Lake City traffic, White Series, turning uh, left base for 3-2, Lake Havasu. And uh, 
Lake Havasu traffic, three three two, about ten miles to the west. We're just going to extend uh, down like a deep downwind, and then we'll look to uh, get a final for three two with the traffic. Dissipate a little bit, Havasu traffic. White service on a short final for uh, three. Five hundred. And Skyline five one Bravo, clear. We need a big old slip to get the numbers, but don't force the plane down. Power's all the way out? Yep. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's all good. Take it down. Nice, smooth landing. Smooth landing. Beautiful. Look at the traffic, Skyline, 5 to Lima Sierra, back on left, downwind, runway 3-2, full stop, have a seat. Have a seat, traffic, right 3 2 military gang, we're 3,000 feet over the uh, lake, and we're going to follow that previous traffic into 3-2, have a seat, traffic. And Lake Havasu City traffic, uh, White Cirrus is uh, clear of 3-2 at Alpha 2, Lake Havasu. Clear right. Clear right. Jimmy? Yes, sir. Good work today. Yeah, not bad. I'll take it. Good work today. Let's see. Uh, under Postal, if you want to... He's still here? Does it text me? We can... We can drive by there or fly by it. Or fly by it. <laughs> Taxi by it. No, let's put the plane back and okay. then we could, if anything, drive back. Solidos. Oh. Why did the. Why did what? Nose gear do that on touch. Did we land straight or sideways? We land sideways. Taxi. Runway 32, full stop, Lake Havasu. Do we need right or left rudder on touchdown? Uh, let's see, we needed right rudder and left hand around. Which direction was the nose pointing? Well, the, yeah, I was all, well, I was coming out of the slip and... On to touchdown, the nose is pointing to, to the, the right. Right, so we needed... Yeah, more left rudder. A little left rudder, right. Remember, what, whichever direction the nose is pointing in, I need opposite rudder to bring that nose because you want it to point straight down just like the plane is right now on the taxiway. That's the goal. As long as we understand that the main wheels don't move like the nose wheel. They're fixed. Got to be straight with them. Excellent. Good. Look at this traffic, Skyline. Five to Lima Sierra, turning final. Runway 3-2, full stop. Lake Havasu.